Hey, friends. I was just uh, thinking back. I had a couple of health, uh, pretty serious health situations in the last four years. Uh, four years ago, I had prostate cancer. And six months ago, I had to go through open heart surgery. And even though I'm a really healthy person, my, you know, I, I needed to have a, a valve replaced. So I, those two times that I went through those experiences, I <clears throat> realized that I probably felt more at peace than I ever have in my entire life. And in some ways that kind of is confusing, um, you know, having to go through something really difficult and tough and scary and not really exactly sure what it's going to look like on the other side for either of them. But um, so I started kind of thinking about that a little bit more. And there's, there's a part of me, you know, that, that um, I can be a little bit driven. I, I really enjoy what I do and I, and I feel like it's my mi life's mission. And at times I've probably pushed a little bit too hard, but it's only because I really feel like I'm supposed to, you know, create positive content and share in all kinds of different ways. And I really um, have accepted that role. So when I had those two health experiences, I was a, a complete and utter peace. It was just, I, I surrendered to the situations and I, I just patiently kind of sat with what was happening and just tried to be um, an observer through it all. And I wondered wh why that came about or how that happened, or maybe um, was it possibly because I was pushing too hard and I gave myself permission to relax and rest. And in some ways it was kind of nice that I didn't have to um, keep pushing, keep keep um, maybe going a little too hard. Or was it just, you know, I feel like there's a reason for this happening and maybe there's some some blessings and some some self-growth that can come from it and and i allowed myself to just sit through it and and see what came about i don't know i mean it's probably a combination of both i suppose but ultimately i think the 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 lessons i did learn from both really have made me a much more grounded and whole person more empathetic a much better receiver than i was before so i mean i don't think that there's any accidents that you know i did have to go through them and i'm grateful that i was able to surrender and maybe that was just an inner knowing soulful knowing that that it was supposed to happen. And then I was, you know, I was at peace with that. And it allowed me to be at peace with the experiences. No, no. I think that um, some of the lessons that I got from the first experience were, it gave me permission to get off the, the, the hamster wheel that I was on. And it gave me a chance to rest and reflect and look back. And um, I think some of the things that I was doing, I'm proud of everything I've created, books and films, you name it. But I think that I was using them for validation tools as well. And so having that stoppage four years ago gave me a chance to reflect on that and, and realize that I was putting too much pressure on myself to be this perfect person because I felt like here I am, creating positive content, self, self-improvement work. When I really realized that I just needed to be myself and that also was kind of a, a form of surrender and allowed me to relax and rest into just who I was and really finally starting to believe that I was enough. So, so those were some of the things that I got from my first experience. And then just recently, six months ago, um, the open heart surgery, it really gave me a chance to receive in so many different ways.
that I probably was not allowing myself to do prior to that. I've always been kind of a giver, whether it's of my time, um, monetarily, um, tangibly, you name it. And I wasn't allowing people to do the same for me. I used to be that person when someone to do something for me, I would try to just make it happen right back just to make it equal. You know, in, in this experience six months ago, um, I had to ask some people for some help, um, you know, to get me through, to help me get through um, financially, et cetera, you name it. And I really was able to sit in that energy and it really was powerful. And, and giving and receiving are all part of the same circle and same coin. And if we're not allowing both to, to flow, then we're out of balance. We're out of sync. We're not, we're not being the best version of ourselves that, that we can be because it's so important to be able to receive also. So that, so that was one of the big takeaways recently. Um, so I guess my other question is why is it that when, that we are not able to really sink in to trust and surrender when we aren't being forced to like in every, our everyday life, you know, when we're healthy, when we're not being tested. Um, Cause those are the times what, that we really need to, to honor and to listen to our intuition and trust it and, and, and sit in that, that soulful trust that, that we are moving in the right direction. Even if things don't feel like we are, things are moving forward, even if it's baby steps. So I don't know. It just, you know, food for thought. Um, Cause I certainly don't want anybody to have to be forced to learn some of those lessons or, you know, those, those times. But like I said, I really felt at peace and, and um, truly loved in so many different ways while I was going through those experiences and it was a beautiful thing. So I just want more people to feel that way in their everyday lives. And that's something that I think about and try to allow to happen um, as I continue to move forward. So thank you for listening. Um, I'm going to start um, ramping up the newsletter and the YouTube channel. And I'd be honored if you um, subscribed and followed me there. You can you can find both of those links on my website at gbrianbenson.com. All right, be well.